what's going on guys so as you all know i do have a face good d2 helmet right now that i'm using for facial motion capture but i am still going to be using my diy helmet now if you are new to the channel let me go ahead and show this to you real quick so this is the actual helmet that i started with when i started facial mocap it's really just a skater helmet that you can buy in a grocery store or something and i just added a gopro uh kind of like arm right here and i do have an insta 362 uh one r something like that that i'll mount right here and i have a counterweight in the back because the insta 360 actually is a little bit heavy so i do have a cheese plate right here and it has a counterweight on the back just so that you know i can offset that weight and, and it pretty much won't hurt my neck and it won't let me turn into like necklace cage or anything like that so i did update this system here recently and i'll show you what i kind of did so as you all know, one of the good things about using a face good helmet is that it uses infrared camera. That means you do not need a light in front of your face. Now, unfortunately, if I'm going to be using my DIY helmet here for wireless situations, like I'm planning a shoot right now, it has to be wireless. So I have to use this. I need to get a light on top of it. Now, before this, I would use my wife's hair tie and I would hair tie a light in front of the camera. But I went ahead and looked for another solution and I found this light right here, as you can see in front of it. Now, this light, and I'll leave all the links in the description below, is LED and it has batteries. And what I pretty much did was is I Velcroed the light and Velcroed on the camera so that I can remove it on and off if need be. Now, one of the cool things about this, obviously, it's, it's cheap. And additionally, it does come with a remote. That means that I can turn it all the way down. So I'll turn it on right now. And this is at max strength right here. And I'll, let me go ahead and turn it down. So you can kind of see it. The minimum brightness is pretty much that. So it's not bad on your face like this. Not like my previous setup where it was blinding all the talents that I was working with, which is not cool. So that's why in my interview uh, movie, I ended up just turning it off because it was bothering the talent so much. But with this, this isn't that bad at all. Now, another good thing about using my DIY helmet right now is this shoots 120 frames per second at 1080p. The more frames per second you use with the avatar software or any facial motion capture software, I guess, the better it is. Now, I'm not going to be planning on using 120p for this DIY solution when I need it to go wireless. I'm probably going to go with 60 frames per second so that I can use that maybe at 30 frames per second in post or 24 frames per second. So this is the upgrade that I got. I pretty much just velcroed this to the camera and now I can mount this in front of the actual helmet itself and man it's a pretty darn good solution so I'm gonna have it right here mounted and I'm pretty excited I am gonna be using this with Avatari still the actual software from Facegood and because I've used this before again uh, in the previous movie so now I have this mounted like so and now I have that light looking at me and if I need to shoot 60 frames per second I'm gonna need more light so in that case I'm just gonna go ahead and turn it up like so to give me more light on my face like that so I can use 60 I can even sh I can pretty much shoot like 120 frames per second with this helmet right here so that's pretty much it my modified DIY I think this was $15 $10 for the arm and I think the camera at the time was like $199 it doesn't have to be this camera it can be any camera and I have this LED light right here and this is my DIY helmet you can mount an iPhone on here if you want you can mount all kinds of cameras on here so yeah I just want to give you all an update because I know I haven't really used this in a while I hope you all learned something new today and if you do make these DIY helmets, make sure you tag me, hashtag JSFilms, or send me a link in one of my videos. I want to see what you all come up with. I know quite a bit of people actually did it this way, but this light right here is a game changer because I can turn it down. And actually, it's, I forgot, it's actually RGB as well. If I want to go like red, green, or blue, I can, I can change the color of this as well, which right now I really don't see, you know, that helping me with mocap. But, you know, if, if you're into this kind of like party lights, you can use that as well. That being said, thank you all for watching and I did receive my very first short film animation contest entry and I watched it today. Make sure you all send me those in the email. I am, if, if you're new to the channel, I am hosting an Unreal Engine short film contest where I'm going to be giving away a full body motion capture suit. 
and it's gonna be pretty awesome. And additionally, this is just the first time that I'm gonna be doing this. I wanna do this a lot more. I'm gonna be giving away mostly GPU every week I go on a store and just to see if there's something in stock, but I at least wanna give away an RTX 3060, pretty much do a contest like what I'm doing right now and just give away that graphics card for you guys so you can try out some cool stuff like Unreal Engine, Omniverse, whatever you would feel like it as far as this CG world goes.